the Roman Empire. Hello children, welcome to a new happy learning video about the Roman Empire because it's very important to know the past in order to understand the present and improve the future. According to legend, Rome was founded by Romulus and Remus, the two brothers you see in this picture who had been raised by a wolf. But that is just a legend because Rome was founded almost 2,800 years ago with the union of several villages in Italy as shown by this map. At first it was a monarchy commanded by kings but later it became a republic. Do you know what that is? A republic is a form of government where there are no kings but politicians make decisions they think they are convenient. The Republic of Rome lasted several centuries until about 2,000 years ago, when the Roman Empire began. In an empire, all powers are in the hands of an emperor who is like the king of kings. The Romans conquered all the nations of the Mediterranean, such as Greece, Egypt, Syria, France, Germany, and also the Iberian and the Celtic people of the Hispanic. They even arrived in Britannia, now known as England. This map shows you the extent of the Roman Republic and the Roman Empire. Generally, Roman society was divided into the patricians, they were the noblest, they had a lot of power, they were politicians and military men, rich and powerful men in this group. Below them, there were the plebeians, the people in general, farmers, artisans and workers. Finally, in the lower past were the slaves, who used to be the prisoners of war. This picture shows you the social hierarchy at the time of the Roman Empire. You see on the top the emperor, then the patricians and the senators, the equestrians, the plebeians, freedmen and soldiers, and the last, the slaves. Try to do this exercise. What do you think these terms mean? Who are these people? Try to answer these questions. War was a very important activity for the Romans. The Roman army famed for its organization and innovation in both weapons and tactics. The first some soldiers were called legionaries. Thanks to them, they conquered all corners of the Mediterranean. But the Romans were also great engineers and architects and created very orderly cities. With many amenities, they had aqueducts to carry water from one place to another or just to cross rivers, circuses, theatres, spas and schools. Roman children went to school like us. They also built roads and this made it a lot easier to get from one side of the empire to the other. The Roman Empire entered in the 5th century when the Germans invaded Rome. It was that the moment with the fall of the empire when the Middle Age began. This is the transcription of the video I'll invite you to watch by clicking here on this link. Thank you for your attention. I'll be back to you soon. Bye bye children. See you soon.